A very good first Monday of the year to you. I'm Jacob Rascone. And good morning, everyone. I'm Art Rascone. Welcome to this very special edition of Eyewitness News. Jacob's first day on the air right here at ABC 13. What a, what a joy. Th this is an honor to be able to anchor with my own son. And what a dad's blessing. last day at ABC 13. Yeah, here it is, the last day. It's going to be a very somber and last, uh, uh, well, I don't know. It's, it's a bittersweet. That's, that's the word to use. So, uh, but it's a, what an honor it is here to be with Jacob. Let's go, let's check that chilly forecast first. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Travis Hersog in. Hello, Chief. Thanks for letting me join the Rascone Show. I feel like I'm getting <laughs> the news in stereo right now. <laughs> Looks and sounds very similar. Uh, beautiful day today, but a 100% chance of Melanie Lawson tears falling later on <laughs> this evening. Check us out at 5 o'clock. You'll see. It's going to verify. How does that feel to know that there will be another Rascone walking in the door. Yeah, you know, that's just incredible for me as a father, for my, my dear wife as a mother, and us as parents, to see our son sort of continue that so-called legacy. Right now on our ABC 13 streaming app, a reporter's notebook featuring Dad and Melanie Lawson, including what sparked Dad's interest in the news business and what it was really like inside those tunnels under a Mexican prison, among other things. We'll be right back. Sweetheart, the time has come. I am so proud of you. You have had an incredible career over the past 36 years. It's been a great adventure. We're grateful to KTRK TV, ABC Disney, and all of the wonderful Houstonians who have been so loving and supportive. I am looking forward to more adventures with my husband. Art, I'm excited to have you home. That was mom, if you couldn't tell. Today, as we mentioned, dad will sign off for the last time. Born in El Paso, the second of nine siblings, he went on to become the first Rascone to graduate from college. His unlikely 36-year journalism career surprised and challenged and inspired him and the rest of us. We have had hurricane force winds since last night. Hart Rascone has always been a newsman. Reporting tonight from Visico, Bosnia, Herzegovina. From the former Saigon. From the Vatican. From Mexico City. Reporting tonight from Chenendega, a small village outside of Managua, Nicaragua. Reporting tonight from Baghdad. Reporting from 75 plus countries on five continents. Basra is the second largest city in Iraq and region of the most fierce fighting in the country. This area is dinosaur country where you can walk a few feet and find fossils 77 million years old. This is a bitter cold rough environment but a spectacular one. From every state in the union, and of course, welcome to the streets of Houston. Throughout Houston. This area right here is about 70 to 80 homes in this area are nearly submerged in water at least. His career really began in 1973 as an 11 year old newspaper boy. Here he is at KBYI radio in 1980. And in 1985 at KRBC Big Country News in Abilene, Texas. Then on to KVIA in El Paso and KMOL in San Antonio in 1987. They lost the battle for the entire shopping strip now. After five years at ABC7 in Los Angeles covering wildfires, floods, the O.J. Simpson trial and, the and L.A. Like, no, riots. The, the, the police obviously, obviously haven't been able to control the situation with the looters now. Well, Dad traveled the world as a CBS News correspondent stories. based in Miami. Past two weeks, a half dozen candidates have been terrorized. Three shot and wounded. Breaking news to bring to you at this hour. Before settling down in Houston at KTRK in 1998. Good evening, everybody. I'm Melanie Lawson. And I'm Art Resco. On the house. Dad and Melanie have anchored live at five for 23 years, the longest running anchor team in Houston TV history. It is a struggle to survive every day rummaging through the garbage in desperate hopes they will find something to help them live. His reports earned him more than two dozen regional and national journalism awards covering conflicts in the Middle East. This has obviously been a volatile situation. We have been hunkered down here, ground zero, for nearly six hours now. <laughs> A Kosovo refugee camp. Not since the Holocaust has there been such a forced mass exodus of people. Reporting from Baghdad. Every street corner you turn, there is rampant looting, burning as well. 
It's what happens when the entire national security police force has been stripped away. The Vatican. Tonight, history is being made. We have a Latin American pontiff, and here he is. Buonasera. From ground zero after 9-11. And as you look over lower Manhattan, you can see that plume of smoke that sort of drifts in a northeastern direction. Drug tunnels in Mexico. Wow, this is really small. I've been in a lot of places, but never crawling on my hands and knees through the midst of a tunnel. Migrant K 